Let's take a look at front body lock. Demonstrated here by six-time world champ and two-time Olympic champ Sergei Beloglazov. Front body lock was one of Sergei's signature moves. It's a fairly advanced move that requires a lot of attention to detail and thousands of repetitions. But for someone who's willing to study it and execute it properly, front body lock is an unstoppable move. This is the only time we've ever seen front body lock demonstrated in detail. Obviously it's demonstrated by its masters, but we've talked to many elite wrestlers, even Olympic gold medalists who use this move and don't have a good understanding of it. Front body lock has a lot of nuances and details, but done correctly it turns basically a neutral position into one of the most lopsided advantages in wrestling. We'll try and break it down in steps for you. If Trevor does not bring his head up, Sergey cannot cross face. From here, he works his hips back and down to free his leg. Once free, Sergey now comes over both of Trevor's arms. From this position, the lock is very important. Sergey's right hand comes all the way across to Trevor's far ear. As he locks his right arm is pulled back to turn Trevor's head. With his elbows pinching in, Sergey pressures his hips into Trevor's head and knocks him to his side. He is not trying to turn Trevor to his back, only to get him on his side. From here, Sergey steps over to Trevor's far hip with his right foot and drives Trevor to his back. Throughout this move, it is important that Trevor's head is locked in tight by Sergey's hands pulling Trevor's head against his chest and stomach. Notice that as Trevor turns, Sergey's foot keeps his hips off the mat. This makes it difficult for Trevor to bridge. The way Trevor is turning his hips is a common reaction. Sergey can still do this technique here. In order to step to the far side, Sergey relaxes his arm a little. This allows him to slide to his right before he steps. Let's go through some details of front body lock. We're going to start out in an unlocked front body lock, our hands on his shoulders. Unlike front headlock, it's okay to be on your knees. The first key is to get your weight shifted in the right direction. You want to put your chest on his ear and push your opponent's head to his far shoulder. You want to group his arm, his head, and his shoulder together. The next thing that Sergey is doing is reaching 
his right arm deep so it touches his opponent's right ear. When we lock our hands, there's several things that are going to happen. But most of all and most importantly, we're going to secure his chin or gain control of his chin. We're going to turn his head inward and pin his chin to our chest and maintain control of that for the rest of the move. Our head position is over on his far shoulder. When we lock our hands, we're going to bunch everything tight together and pin that chin to our chest. Once we have everything locked up tight, our opponent's chin is turned inside and secured, our next objective is to extend his arm and get our elbow to the mat. We're going to let our hips do the work. Here, Sergey turns his inside hip down, his outside foot steps up to drive that hip down, he drops his elbow to his opponent's elbow and extends his arm. Here's an excellent example of the hip position, outside foot steps up, inside hip drops down. Here's an example of that hip position from a different angle. Outside foot steps up, drives the inside hip down. Here's where we want to end up. We want our opponent flat. We want his elbow extended. We want to keep it extended. Our inside hip is down. We're ready to hip heist. Remember, we want our opponent flat. Often this will happen when we drop our hips and extend his elbow. If it doesn't, we're going to use a hip heist motion to knock him to his side. It's important to notice that we're not trying to knock our opponent to his back. That'll happen when we step over. We'll extend his elbow, put our elbow to the mat, using it as a kickstand. Use a hip heist motion to knock him to his side. Ideally, he'll end up here and flatten out, which is the easiest way to pin him. If your opponent stays on the side, it's an equally acceptable way to execute this pin. Once our opponent is flat or on his side, we want to execute the pin. From here, we use our inside knee to clear the arm and place it in our opponent's armpit. Our outside leg steps over. We take a big step, almost as if we were putting a leg in. We step over. We actually load our opponent on our own legs and pin him. Here, Sergey takes a big step. Inside knee clears. Outside knee takes a big step, almost as if he were putting a leg in. He keeps everything locked up tight. He's going to turn his opponent over, and he's going to go for the pin. Notice how Sergey lifts his leg to get his opponent's shoulders down to the mat. We hope you enjoyed the video. Front body lock is a fairly complex move. It takes lots of time and lots of repetitions to get a good feel for it. Practice the move in the steps we've outlined, but I think it's important to point out that as you get more fluid with the move, as you get more practice, all of these steps and all of these adjustments happen within a millisecond of each other. Use properly, front body lock turns a neutral position into a pin. Here we're going to watch uh, the master and really the inventor of the front body lock uh, at work in world competition. We'll also point out some alternative finishes. If your opponent's giving you a hard time and you feel like he won't go, that means he's pressing his hands and hips as hard as he can into the mat. This is the perfect setup for one of our favorite finishes that go behind. So if you're not able to execute the pin, just simply go to a go behind on the other side. And you'll see Sergey does just a fantastic job of this over and over again. I would say 50% of the time, uh, Sergey is going to his go behind as a, as a finish for this front body lock. This is the perfect example of a front body lock to a reverse go behind. You'll see Sergey's going to attempt the pin here and hip heist, but go all the way to the back side for our favorite finish to go behind. Let's look at it again. He's exerting the perfect pressure, sprawls back, hip heist, reverse go behind. <laughs>